I want to share with you the most important piece of advice which I took on board this year and has consequently made a huge difference to my running, giving me personal bests at 5k, 10k and 10 miles. The concept is easy to understand and so if you want to also improve your 5k time at a race or a park run, this would be my number one tip to someone wanting to run faster this year. I'll get straight to it. It's not exciting or glamorous, but crucially, it's effective and that is what we want. It can be summarized in just four words. Plan for the week. In this video, I'll look at three elements of the plan. I'll break down why I think the weekly running schedule was so transformational, how it works for the two different types of runners and which one you might be. And I'll even give you an example week of what my training looked like that resulted in a drastically improved running performance, both in finish time, but also the part that people often miss, actually enjoying the experience. Number one, why a plan is so effective. It might seem obvious that a plan is a good move, but it's absolutely worth discussing why it makes sense. And I can tell you, I used to not do this. And now that I've finally got it implemented, it has transformed my running. Before this change, my week was done very much off of feel. In other words, I would run when I was motivated to do so. This resulted in incredibly inconsistent training. Sometimes I'd run three days in a row and then not run for five days because I didn't feel like it. Often when I did head out on a run, thinking I felt like doing seven miles, I then cut it short when I wasn't feeling it and finish at four miles. Frankly, it was a mess. Having it written down and thus knowing what I was doing in the week ahead stripped away that reliance on being in a running mood and turned my randomness into consistency with purpose, which in turn built my running fitness. By writing it down, a plan gave me the opportunity to put thought into my training and therefore I knew why I was doing each session, whether that be a planned rest day or planned hill reps. People do schedule their runs for a month ahead or even more. And that's great, but the unit of time that I found most helpful for me and therefore I like to bring into sharp focus is the simple seven day week. It is more bite sized adaptable and simply easier to memorize. I found that a single well executed week has acted as a microcosm for the months and years ahead to build layers of purposeful and consistent training and therefore significant improvements in my running ability. Number two, the two types of runner. Of course, not everyone is the same. And while it's a sliding scale for simplicity, we can break runners down into two types. Very very motivated and very laid back. Very motivated runners by default are keen to run and dedicated to their training. The downside of being this industrious not only makes it difficult in sticking to rest days, but can also mean running more than they should and at a faster pace. Consequently, this increases the chance of fatigue and even injury. If they held back a little more, they may find they can reach their potential by building slowly and giving themselves time to rest and recover. Very laid back runners by default don't tend to overdo it. They are more likely to run when they feel like it and suffer less from injury and fatigue, though the downside to this is potentially never fulfilling their running potential by not training as much as they could, which if they did, would lead to higher fitness levels and thus faster 5k times. It may not surprise you to learn that personally, I very much fall into that second category of being laid back. If I were to move away from a plan right now, I promise you, I would quickly drift right back to just running when I felt like it. But here is the beauty of planning out a week of running. It suits both personality types. For very motivated runners, it prevents them doing too much. Some people do get a lot from knowing it's okay to rest because it was scheduled to happen. For very laid back runners like myself, it takes the choice out of the week. When it's a cold, wet evening, the likelihood of us going for that run is far higher if we knew all week that this run was approaching and it's booked. It creates a much needed accountability. Number three, the plan that gave me success. So what does a good plan look like? For me, it was about laying out the seven days in blocks from Monday to Sunday. You can do this on a device's calendar or write it by hand. Then fill out what you plan to do. Remember to be aware of your current running fitness. Know how many days you can realistically run per week and build up slowly. At the end of the week, reflect on how it went and if something needs tweaking, adjust it accordingly when you write it out the next week. I've learned that patience is a huge factor in a successful and enjoyable running journey and it's really worth worth practicing. Here are some examples of one week running plans. If you're running four days a week, it could look like this. If you're running five days a week, it could look like this. And here, a glimpse behind the scenes of my weekly running plan. Please be aware that I've been running my whole life. And while many high level runners do much more than this, it has taken a long time to condition myself to do this amount of running. So just take it easy and find what works for you. On Monday, I run a steady four miles. On Tuesday, I have a track session, usually covering about four miles during the actual session. There'll be a one mile warm up and a one mile warm down. On Wednesday, I run a steady seven miles. Then on Thursday, I run a steady eight miles. Friday is my rest day. And then on Saturday, interval session. That will be road or grass, or I'll have a quick but 
but not an all out park run. Usually this adds up to around five to six miles. And then finally on Sunday, I'll run a steady 10 miles. If you want to take your running up another level at your chosen distance with advice from an elite runner, we spent a long time crafting highly effective jog on first 5K and 5K improver training plans. You can find them all at thisisjogon.com. I'm Harry Morgan, go for that planned run, and this is Jogon.